Welcome to the Digital Days Lesson Series. In this series of lessons, we'll cover the keys to a good picture. First, we'll be talking about light. Of course, light is the most basic tool of photography, and without light, there would be no pictures. It is also the most powerful tool you have to make better pictures. Remember, it's the quality of light, not the quantity of light, that matters. There are four basic things to think about when you consider the light for your picture. The time of day, the position of the light, the combination of light and shadow, and whether you are exposing correctly for the light you have. Let's start with time of day. Light is always changing during the course of the day, and there are times when the light is best for making great pictures. Those times tend to be the dawn and sunrise in the morning, and afternoon and sunset later in the day. These times are often referred to as magic hour, and the angle and quality of the light during magic hour is often the best for just about any kind of picture. The position of the light is also very important. Light coming from the side of your subject can be used to highlight the most interesting parts of a scene and create the best pictures. Sometimes the light is in the wrong place to take the best picture, so you have to change your position to take advantage of the light you have. You'll also want to position yourself to take the best advantage of the combination of light and shadow. Using this contrast effectively can make many pictures better, and sometimes just light and shadows can make an interesting photo. You also want to expose correctly for the light you have. Look for where the light is and expose for it. Don't let the camera ruin a perfectly good picture by guessing at an overall exposure and getting it wrong. Use exposure modes and exposure compensation to get the look you're after. Exposure compensation is a way of telling your camera that you want a photo lighter or darker than the internal meter on the camera is reading. Remember, that meter is trying to get a balanced exposure based on neutral gray. It's easy for it to get confused by darker or brighter than normal scenes and push everything too close to the middle. On most cameras, exposure compensation is shown as a plus minus value measured in one third stops. Plus makes things brighter, minus makes things darker. Take a look at your LCD after you take a picture and use the exposure compensation to get it where you want the scene to be. And don't forget that light changes throughout the course of the day and night. With proper use of your camera's controls, you can make this type of photo. Remember, think about the quality of light, not just the quantity. Time of day can make all the difference. Shoot at magic hour. Look for side light. Move yourself to find the best light for your image. Find a balance of light and shadow. And use exposure compensation to get the perfect exposure for your image. Check out our other Digital Days Digital Lessons for more ways to take great pictures. And don't forget to check out our website at www.digitaldaysphoto.com.